well? Can't be helped, I'm afraid. This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Still, I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. I'm also hoping Sakajiro won't have to use it. It's just there as a last resort. I gotta say though, Koichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger, and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's inspection. Let's store the boat here for now, then. I'll fill Sakajiro in when I get back. He'll need to make some preparations before setting sail. Uh-oh. Paimon feels really worried all of a sudden. Uh, doesn't helping Sakajiro make you a collaborator in the eyes of the Tenryo Commission? <laughs> Maybe it does. But I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help. My family has pretty good connections with the Yashiro Commission. We work very closely with them. And whenever there's a national event of any sort, the other two commissions come to us too. As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, they won't look to cause trouble for me either. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? That's true. This was all a collaborative effort. Wait! Oh, oh no! Ah, so you're seasoned crooks already, eh? I don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> anyway, thanks for everything, Koichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. While you're there, you can get my pops to settle the boat construction fees. Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third Sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Naganohara. Who's Third Sis? Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. They were a tightly knit group of friends. But eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in the future. That's right. Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. <laughs> they were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One by one, they left, until Koichi was the only one of them remaining in Inazuma. After that, he hardly saw them. But whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Yeah, no matter how close you and your friends are, there's always going to be s some distance after being separated for a long time. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us right back to our childhood, and we'd be chatting away like in the old days. To us, those memories are eternal. Oh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things! Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Anyway, I need to go update Sakujiro. See you, Koichi. Thanks again for your help. Yeah, I should get out of here, too. I don't want to get caught red-handed. Okay, story time. So, whenever Koichi brings one of his friends from the Trade Association to see me, we always mention how they used to play with me when I was a kid, or help me once as a baby, or something. But there are so many of them in that friendship group, and remember anything from that age anyway, so I uh, never have a clue who they are. One time, he shows up with another one of his friends, and the friend asks me if I remembered him. So I'm like, yes, I do! You held me once when I was just a baby! Koichi just bursts out laughing and says, actually, this is one of his carpenter friends. Turns out, he's a lot younger than he looks, just a few years older than me. I went bright red and must have apologized like a million times. It was so embarrassing. The boat is already and waiting. I'll mark the location for you on the map. Before you leave, I recommend that you pack some food and water. You can never be too prepared. Uh, after how much effort it took to get back in, 
It's hard to convince myself to leave again. Especially when I'll be going up against the stormy ocean on a tiny little boat. My prospects don't look great. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Terrio Commission. I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. Time is starting to run out. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I promise I won't cause you and your family any more- I didn't mean it like that. If we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. But if the Tenryo Commission does catch up to you, then make a run for the boat. Okay, I won't let them catch me, but... <sighs> no, I guess this whole trip was a waste in the end. Why did you want to come back to Inazuma anyway? Is there something you wanted to do? I didn't used to like this place at all. That's why I left. But looking back on things now, I was really just running away from my responsibilities. Once I started to realize that, I got restless. I couldn't stop thinking about the people and the things I'd left behind. So I... Oh, forget it. What does it matter now? It's too late anyway. I originally wanted to make up for all my regrets, but instead, I found myself in the situation I'm in now. What a pity. Talk to us about it! Maybe we could- If only there was no Sakoku decree, huh? Anyway, uh, don't worry. We're not going to bother you about it. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. The Tenryo Commission. If only they weren't so overzealous, there might be a way. Oh, that's right! That elderly couple, old customers of ours, their son's in the Tenryo Commission, isn't he? Yeah, quite high up as well. That's it. I'll go talk to them. Maybe they can do something. Um, are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people. I know them well. They won't cause us any- All right. You should get back indoors, Sakujiro. We'll be back in no time- Okay, let's go. Time waits for no one. Wait, hang on. What about the fireworks? All those materials? Oh, there's so many orders to finish. Pots? Pots? No, oh, never mind. <gasps> I know. I'll write him a note telling him to sort out the fireworks. Pam, why did you cut Paimon off earlier? Because what he needs isn't an answer. Just time. <laughs> If it isn't Yoi Mia. Come on in, dear. Come and take a seat. Are these two your friends? Yes, they're travelers from afar. Outsiders have a very difficult time getting into Inazuma nowadays. Indeed, these are unprecedented times. But seeing as they came all this way, we locals should give them a warm welcome. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, I brought the fireworks that you ordered. Oh, thank you, dear. Your family is so good to us every year. First your father, and now you. I wonder if I'll still be around to see the next hair of Naganahara fireworks. Of course you will! You're both in great health! Don't say things like that, it's bad luck. <sighs> we aren't as young as we once were, though. The body knows it. It used to be that I could spend all day working the land, carrying water back and forth. But now, even a moment of light work leaves me with all sorts of aches and pains. I wanted to do some weeding yesterday, but as soon as I bent down to get started, I suddenly felt that if I went any further, I wouldn't be able to get back up again. No worries. Say no more. We'll handle it. No, no, no. We can't be putting you to work when you're a guest in our home. I'll just go fetch the tea and some snacks, and then we'll continue our conversation. It's fine. It's not like it's the first time I've helped you with chores. I just haven't had much time recently with the fireworks show coming up. But once that's out of the way, I'll be sure to come by more often. It's no trouble, really. We don't mind helping. Oh, you're such good kids. As for mine, he's all grown up now. Hasn't found anyone yet. 
and he doesn't visit very often. Uh, if you're quite sure it's no trouble, then... I have some pickled radish here. Would you mind delivering it to Sataru on the other side of the village? Sure, it won't take us a moment. The old folks aren't very mobile, so come on, let's help them out. We'll get rid of the weeds first, and then deliver the pickled radish. Yeah, you got it! And that should just about do it. Satoru is on the other side of the village. Let's go see him now. Hey, Satoru. How have you been? Keeping well? Yeah, same as usual. Not much has changed. You're looking full of life, as always. All thanks to the support of our loyal customers. The family business just keeps getting better and better. We sold some fireworks to Liu a while back, and word is, they were a real hit. So it looks like we'll be getting more business from over there in the future. That must mean a lot more work for you, though. Are you sure you and Mr. Ryunosuke can manage? If it gets too much, I don't forget, you can always ask me for help, hmm? We should be fine. I think we can cope. Oh, yeah. Um, this is some pickled radish from Mrs. Imatani. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I never used to be a fan of pickled radish, would you believe? But then I'd try some of Mrs. Imatani's homemade stuff and I couldn't get enough of it. It's a family staple now. Speaking of your family, how's everyone doing? They're doing well. We have the occasional heated argument, but I guess that's every family ever. Being close to family is better than never getting to see them. Even if it does mean putting up with some conflict. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Imatani seem to have a great relationship. But still, they must get lonely with their child never visiting. Huh, they didn't seem that way to me. I think they're just used to it. You make a good point, though. I should drop by more often in the future. That way, they won't get so bored. Oh, I'm sure they'd love that. As would all of us in Konda Village. You're always welcome here. <laughs> Thank you! Now that we've finished all the chores, it's time to talk to the Imatanis about Sakajiro. That was quick! Ah, young people are so handy. Younger people have bundles of energy, and older people have a wealth of wisdom. Each have their strengths. Speaking of youth, do you know what? It's been 50 years this year. Oh, so it has. Goodness, how the time flies. You barely notice as the years go by, but then suddenly 50 years have passed. 50 years since what? Some important day? <laughs> well, if you must know, it was 50 years ago, back in the days when this young lady was still trying to win me over, that... Oh, stop trying to impress them. <laughs> we both know you were the one who was hopelessly smitten and desperately trying to win my affection. Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Fifty years ago, I proposed to my wife at the Naganahara fireworks show. We've been together ever since. Mm, to tell the truth, I was still a little uncertain. I wasn't sure what I was doing when I walked into the Naganahara's shop and ordered my fireworks. Even as it was rising up into the sky, I still had no clue what I was going to say. But then it exploded, the sky lit up, I looked back at her and saw her eyes twinkling in the light of the fireworks. Before I knew what was happening, apparently, I'd already said it. And, well, she'd said yes. Fifty years. In some ways, it's a long time. In others, it's no time at all. Really, it's just a number. But fifty years of being together? Now that is something worth commemorating. I had no idea it was your 50th anniversary! If I'd known, I would have made some extra fancy fireworks just for you. 
Oh no, it's quite all right. We always set off the same firework every year. It wouldn't be the same without it. Seeing that firework go off takes us right back to those days. Even at this age, we still look back with not a single regret. Ah, oh, what a great relationship they have. <laughs> Enough about us, though. Yoimiya, aren't you busy with the fireworks show coming up? Was there something you needed to discuss? Yeah, um, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but here goes. Hmm, Sakujiro. So he came back. Huh? You know him? He was our boy's best friend when they were young. <sighs> they were inseparable. They grew up together, shared everything with each other, and went everywhere together. But one day, they had a terrible argument. Sakujiro seemed to feel that Inazuma was too peaceful and wanted to see what the outside world was like. But our Keisuke took after his father and mother. He felt that there was nothing wrong at all with being peaceful. You know what children are like. They get terribly worked up about these sorts of things. In the end, Sakujiro stormed off, and that was that. I see. Keisuke said nothing to me or my wife about the fight. We could sense that he was very hurt by it, but he didn't want to talk with us about how he was really feeling. Eventually, whether out of pent-up anger or for some other reason, he joined the Tenryo Commission. He rarely comes home anymore. If it was anything else, I could talk to Keisuke, and I'm sure he'd be willing to help. But since it's Sakujiro, I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. What a strange coincidence! Who'd have thought? I understand now. When I asked Sakujiro why he came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. Now I finally understand why he can't decide what to do. Two best buddies in childhood. One grows up to join the Tenryo Commission, the other grows up to join the Tenryo Commission's most wanted list. Well, no worries. If that's the case, then never mind. We can find some other way to help Sakujiro. There's no need to make things difficult for you. This sounds like something for Sakujiro and Keisuke to resolve between themselves. Yes. Oh, it'd be so nice if they could go back to the way things were. I think after all these years, they ought to let go of their gr- uh, Well, can't say we didn't try. I'll let Sakujiro know after we get back. Mia, something bad's happened. Some people from the Tinrio Commission came by. Huh? Why? Do they know Pops? Are you alright? They didn't do anything to you, did they? I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks, so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. But they didn't listen. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. Luckily, Sakujiro heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. The Tenryo Commission wasn't able to capture it. Oh, this is bad news. I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Pops, did you see where he was? Oh, the Tenryo Commission will definitely be chasing after him. Good point. Names. We need names. Suddenly showing up like this, surely it must be Keisuke's doing. The Commission wouldn't normally cause this big of a fuss over a stove. Oh, sorry. My ears are no good. And I didn't get a good look at them either. If you're wondering which way they went, they left the city. I wish I'd caught their names. <sighs> but I didn't hear a thing. As it happens, I did. I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. I think their leader's name was Keisuke, just like you said. Just as I thought. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse, there'll be no coming back from it for Sakujiro. We can't let that happen. 
Come with me. Let's track them down. It's Mosasaka and his friends! Let's ask them! Hi, Oimiya! Are the weapons to scare away the great Mujina yokai ready yet? Oh, uh, Mr. Ryunosuke is making them right now. You can go collect them from my house later. Uh, aren't you gonna play with us, Yoimiya? I'm sorry. I have something important to do right now. I'll be back later on. But I'll bring you guys some candy next time. The extra sweet candy, the one you guys love. Yeah! Hey, we're gonna get candy! Woohoo! Ah, 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 candy! Whoa-ho! Also, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, did you see a bunch of scary-looking men come by here at all? Yep, we did. It looked like they were chasing someone. Are they trying to catch a monster too? No, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, all right? Stay in the city for now, and I'll come play with you after the fireworks start. We will. We'll be on our best behavior, especially for you, Yoimiya. It looks like this is the right way. Let's keep going. If Sakuchiro still hasn't made up his mind, I guess I'll have to step in. Look! There are people from the Tenryo Commission over there! It must be them! Sorry, official business. I can't let you pass. Sakujiro and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. Ugh, what a nuisance! <sighs> well, you've only got yourself to blame! I must withdraw. I must Shine down. Withdraw. Time for a light show. How dare you impede the work of the Tenryo Commission? You will be punished for your action! There is nowhere you can escape justice! Not even at the edges of the world! Huh. Look at that! The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. We can't waste any more time on these guys! Let's push on. They should be just ahead. Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakujiro. You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. I never imagined I'd fall into your hand. I... If this is to be my fate, I accept it. I have nothing else to say. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Whatever you say. You will return with me to the Tenryo Commission to await your sentence. The one who made this boat will also be punished. Wait! It doesn't have to end like this! Don't you have anything else to say to one another? Hey, I know you. You're Naganahara's girl, who makes the fireworks. <laughs> I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. It does not concern- It's okay, Yoimiya. The past is the past. Then why did you risk life and limb to get yourself back into Inazuma? And why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? I'll tell you why. This is why. This is the chance you've been waiting for. To talk everything through. I have nothing to say to him. He's a criminal. I work for the Tenryo Commission. There is never any room for discussion. Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now as they ever were. What are you talking about? And just who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say. And you're just gonna choose to keep it all inside? Uh, don't flatter yourself. What would you- Yoimiya, leave it. 
It was just my wishful thinking. No, I won't leave it! I will not stand by and watch when you haven't even done anything! Keisuke, you seem to like settling things with a duel, so let's do it your way. I challenge you to a duel! If I win, then you need to say everything that's in your heart. No more running from your feelings! And the same goes for you, Sakujiro! If I win, you will tell Keisuke exactly why you came back, no matter what the consequences are. You have to tell him everything. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. And if you lose? Then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakujiro, and accept the Tenryo Commission's punishment. Yoimiya? I accept. Let's settle this with a du- Sir, we're here to back you up. Back up? Those are supposed to be one-on-one! -on -one. All right, that's it! Let's help Yoimiya! We can't let her fight them all alone! Uh. Sir, they are too strong. We need more men. Stand down. W what? I thought I told you to stay away. Now stand down. Yes, sir. Sorry. Young lady, you are just as obstinate as Sakujiro was back then. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? Because Sakujiro may not have told me about you when he came back, but he did order a firework from me. Then, your parents told me about what happened between you when you were younger. Once I'd heard the story, I realized that the firework meant something special to you both. And that's why I simply refuse to believe that you have nothing to say to each other. Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? Hmm. The reason I came back is that... <sighs> it wasn't that I'd changed my mind, I just... Felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contracts of Liyue, the wisdom of Sumeru, and the justice of Fontaine. It all left a deep impression on me. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma, but then I happened to hear about the Sokoku Decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. So that's why you came back? Out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here? No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that... I never should have run away like that. <sighs> After all, you never ran away. Huh? I don't know about you, but life hasn't been easy for me. But I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was calling me, and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Life isn't easy for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas were my personal creed, and I desired nothing more than to see her will done. But now, my role is to punish violators of the Sakoku Decree and confiscate people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Tenryo Commit. I do wonder, am I really doing the right thing? The boat is yours. Uh huh? I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma, but that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by four. Uh, what will you say to the higher up? Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated, but it can be done. I will lend you my help, but until then, you'll have to wait. And don't kick the bucket on the way out. Don't worry, Keisuke. Any chance we can watch the fireworks together? Mm. Maybe next time. <sighs> I'll be demoted for sure. It's not like me to give in the childish sentiment like this. I can't explain why I went through with it. It's the one that Sakujiro planned on using for his escape. I asked Yoshitaka and the others to transport it here citing the temporary contraband storage club. Forcing Sakujiro to this spot was also something I had planned all along. It's just like you said, Yoimiya. Even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. But I think you did the right thing. And look, now you've managed to resolve the grievance in your heart by talking about it. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. 
You saw right into what I was thinking. <laughs> That's only because I know your parents so well. They're both really nice people, so I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. I had heard there was a new Naganohara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but <laughs> you live up to the family name. By the way, Naganohara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off back then, right? Would you be able to make one for me? Sorry, no can do. Without the slipper reference, I can't make the same one again. And I'm afraid Sakajiro is the one with the slip. Ah, I see. Never mind then. <laughs> Don't get too down just yet, though. I mentioned that Sakujiro ordered a firework from me, didn't I? I can't make another one, but I'm guessing Sakujiro probably won't be needing his anymore. It'd be a shame for it to go to waste, so I'll make an exception and let you set it off instead. Thank you very much. No worries. And don't miss out on the start of the firework show. Yoimiya! The way you took command of that whole situation was amazing! What can I say? I like to talk. I'm a strong believer in the power of words. If you're not willing to communicate, then the problem just sits there. If you just keep staring at it without doing anything, eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes. Sakujiro and Keisuke can't turn back the clock in their relationship, but that's no reason to live with remorse. Anyway, follow me. I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. My pops will set off the firework that I wanted to give to you. I could weep. Uh, I didn't actually cry though, right? I just feel a bit misty eyed. Oh, uh, remember that big one that went up first? The gold one? That's the one I had Pops make for you. Oh, Paimon saw it! It was one of the best ones! They won't forget that anytime soon! <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear! I was hoping it would leave a deep impression on you guys. No matter where your journey takes you, and no matter what hardships might lie ahead, I hope you'll always be able to look back fondly on the fireworks you saw tonight. I believe that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, this is your paper slip. If you ever want to see that golden firework again, just come and see me. You know, Yoimiya, you seem to turn into a completely different person during the fireworks. You were so quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. Oh, I can hear you. I just have a habit of being silent while I'm watching fireworks. Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky it feels like a sacred ceremony to me. You asked me what fireworks mean to me, right? Yep. 
Well, for Koichi, who built the boat for us, and his friend, Third Sis, fireworks commemorate friendship. For Keisuke's parents, they commemorate marriage. And for Keisuke and Sakajiro, they were commemorating... Hmm. Oh, yeah! Right! Beliefs! As for me, uh... <laughs> to be honest, uh, even though I've thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Seriously? Huh. Hyman was expecting something deep and philosophical. Well, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our shogun desires, but people's feelings don't just disappear. And it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't exist. Also, consider this. You have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? You know, I don't really think about complicated things like this very often. But I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. not such a bad place. Hyman's having a pretty good time. But we should probably go and see about the next operation that Toma and Ayaka were talking about, right? As usual, it's the first stop, Kamori Tea House. Are you ready to head over? I think I'll stay here for a bit longer. The show is still not quite over in my heart. Oh, but if you wanted to chat, I'll happily oblige. For you guys, I'll do it for free. I did kind of force it on you after all. Not to mention that I dragged you along with me and gave you all sorts of trouble along the way. <laughs> I'd feel bad if I charged you any more, huh? It's fine. Look, how about we make a deal? After you find your sister, tell her to come to Nagano Hire Fireworks for all her fireworks needs. That way, I'll get another customer. Sound fair? Also, it'd be nice to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> 